Hello everybody, I am here with part one of my December haul. Most of these things are from Black Friday and Cyber Monday. I will start with what I got in the mail first. Which was all of this foily goodness from SPC. So, what I got. I got the core foil bundle, which came with all this, and I'll go through it for you really quick. We have here a silver bundle, and it has the bottom washi with the bows and the like little dots, the script sheet, which is one of my favorites, the cutout icons, which is my preference, um, headers and full box overlays. There's a couple of sheets of those. I'm not going to go through them all. Um, the circle icons and the date dots. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of circle icons, but I will use them. The food doodles, which is my literal favorite sheet. And then little silver deco bits. So that was the first wiggle in here. Next, we have this one, which is also silver. The whole thing is silver and hollow, which I didn't know when I ordered it. No fault off Andrea's. I just didn't watch the whole reveal video. But I honestly am in desperate need of more hollow. So, no complaints here. So this is silver with hearts and bows. And then again, the script sheet, the icons, this sheet, circle icons, food doodles. And then this is just all different hearts, some line hearts and some that are filled in. We have next another silver with stars this time. So silver bows with silver stars. The script sheet, cutout icons, the full box overlays and headers, circles, food doodles, and then little deco bits and stars, which I love using these with, in combination with um, deco at the top. Now into the hollow goodness. Okay, so we have the bottom washi strips. Oh my god, look at that. With the bows and the little um twinkly bits i guess scripts cut out icons this sheet which i know she said she's gonna reformat it i hope she gets rid of the um half cut headers because i i know i guess some people use them but they are wasteful to me um circle icons food doodles and then i love these little twinkly bits next we have stars with sparkly hollow this is the bottom washi and then scripts cut out icons this sheet circle icons you can see the foil so good on those food doodles and then the little star duck up we have here Bottom washi. Like really chunky dots on this one. Scripts. Cutout icons. This fabulous sheet. Circle icons. Food doodles. And the little deco bits. And these next two have this other bow design. And I've never used any of her bundles with this bow. So I'm really excited to get to use it. Oh my god, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can. This top, it's like bows mixed in with little sparkly bits. That's so cute. Sparkly hollow scripts, cutout icons, this sheet, circle icons, food doodles, little cute little bow deco. And then this next one, I believe, is exactly the same, but it's regular hollow, not sparkly hollow. Scripts, icons, that, circle icons, food doodles, and the little bow bits. So that was everything in the core foil bundle from Black Friday. So next, I got the fun foil bundle, and we'll go through these. I actually haven't gone through this yet, so doing it first with you. So this one is red, and this is the prettiest shade of red I think I've ever seen. I'm going to use it, I think, for Valentine's Day. So we have bows and, like, little twinkly bits. 
the scripts. It's almost like the sparkly hollow type of vibe. So cute. Little icons. This page. Circle icons, which is, I feel like, the best way to see um, the color. Food doodles. I love collecting that sheet. And the little deco bits. Next, I think she called this like disco ball hollow, which I'm never sad about more hollow, let me tell you. So, this is the bottom washi, and let's just take a moment to appreciate that hollow effect. And then we have the scripts, cutout icons, all of this sheet, circle icons, oh my god. Food doodles, and then the little deco bit. I think this one's my favorite so far. Next is this really pretty purple, which I might use in January. I have a lot of kits that this would go with. So, bottom washi. Script, I don't know if you can, when we get to those circle icons, you'll really be able to see the purple. Cutout icons this page. Like I said, there's multiple of those. It's really hard to get this one on camera. You can kind of see it. Purple, there you go. Food doodles, and then the deco bits. The infamous, beautiful, lovely, lavender hollow. It's lavender in person, I feel like it just kind of comes across as hollow on screen, but it is perfect, beautiful, lovely. I love her. Oh my goodness. And then this. This next one I can almost guarantee I will use in January. It's when I tend to use all of my very blue kits. This looks literally like the ocean. So pretty. Oh my god, I literally, I didn't realize how stunning this color was. It like shifts blue to green. Let's get them circle icons. Literally, so pretty. And then these two pages. This is also another sparkly, hollow looking type situation. So bottom washi, grips, icons. We've seen a lot of hollow, so I'm just gonna go through. It's with like the stars. And these three bad boys. Next, we have like a sparkly pink, which again, it's like a sparkly pink hollow. Get so much use out of this. We'll have tons of options when to use it. I think I used a wiggle in this color last year for the week of Valentine. So we'll see if she, oh my God, these are just wild. Did you see that? Like, looks red, then blue, then pink, and the food and the deco best. Then we have a sparkly rainbow. And like, I love rainbow foil, but I have a ton of it and I don't really, I find it hard to use. But nonetheless, it's stunning and I'm happy to have it. It looks even prettier in person. I hope for the circle icons you can really see how magical it is. Let's see. There we go. You see that? It is so pretty. And then, these two. So that is all for the fun foil. And then I got the inverted foil, which I think is nice to use if you want something super shiny. And um, sometimes I have kits that I don't buy that I don't like the color of like the bottom washi 15 millimeter strip, so I'll pull one of these in. So let's go through what we have here. First and foremost, we have a sparkly hollow. And I don't know what these come with. This is my first time looking through it right here with you guys. That is straight up blinding. Let's just leave that beauty there. Some icons. 
some full header overlays, date covers, and then some flags and bows. I'm really excited about this. I'm assuming they'll all be the same format. So next we have like a matte pink. It almost looks like SPC's rose gold, which is more pink than gold. Bottom washi. Icons. Date covers. Headers and flags. This next one, I am so excited about. It's like a sparkly blue and it is so pretty. Like, what? Oh my God. That is next level. I think she still has this inverted bundle and the core foil bundle in the shop at the time of filming this. I'm filming it at 12, 13. There's that. The date covers. The headers and the bows. Next we have a gold, which will be super useful. It's more of a useful color than the others, I suppose. You can't really tell how pretty this one is on camera. And there's these three. Then we have hollow. Just like a regular hollow, not sparkly hollow like the first one. Literally blinding. Icons, date covers, headers, and flags. And then the last of these foil bundles is the inverted rainbow sparkly goodness. Again, I do find rainbow very hard to use. So it doesn't really match anything unless you're doing a pride spread, which I do tend to do every year, but I guess it'll be very sparkly. And these. So that is all for those foil bundles from Black Friday from SPC. And then I also got her Cyber Monday, Cyber Monday bundle, which here it is. I'm going to show it to you. It did also come with an Aura Estelle clutch, and it was purple and Purple just really isn't my vibe, so I am gifting that for Christmas, so I don't have it with me because it's wrapped underneath my Christmas tree right now. But okay, so here were all the extras. You got a wiggle, which is like a sparkly hollow and regular hollow combo. Really cool. What's that? That? These and then these sheets. And then you got these once more with love collabs. There's these ones that are supposed to be Andrea and Kirsten. They're really cute, but I don't ever work out, so I don't know when or if I'll use them. These little trolls, I just think they're cute. I'll probably mark them for various things when I'm using this kit. And then I'm obsessed with these sheets. The two Miss Pac-Mans are my absolute favorite. So there were those, and then this is she was trying out premium matte paper, and it is super nice. If she brings it to the shop, though, I'll probably still stick with glossy because I prefer it. So these are the full boxes. And then I'll just flip through this. I love this color scheme. Like, this bright yellow is so fun. So, like, 80s right there. My favorite sheet in the whole kit. Bottom washi, glitter, I don't know if you can tell, like there's little specks of like blue through the other colors, which I think is really cute, and then the 15 millimeter and the fashion girls and some more lip look. So that was the Cyber Monday kit from SPC, and then last but not least for this portion of the haul is my Fantasy Wax, um, which is Kirsten's Wax Shop. Honestly, I know that I don't have a ton in this portion of the haul. I'm solely filming it right now so that I can start melting one of these. So, this was, I think, like, I don't remember the name of the bundle, like, Very Merry Christmas or something along those lines. So, first, we have Once Upon a Christmas, which is pine and cardamom. It's a green color with, like, green and red Mickeys on it. And it literally smells like a Christmas tree. Fantastic. This one, I'm doing it in order of, like, favorite 
they're all good though like this is a bundle where i genuinely enjoy every single scent this one's called hot chocolate stroll and it's hot cocoa scented so it's a brown with brown glitter it smells so good then these next two this one is chris's favorite and this one's my favorite we'll do this one first because this scent gets stuck in your nose this one is Gingerbread Man, and it's ginger, nutmeg, and cinnamon, and it's white with gold glitter and little tiny gingerbread men on there. And I just love a good gingerbread smell. And this is the one that we opened it, and Chris was like, we need to melt this right now. And I was like, well, I need to haul it first, so. This is Snow on Main Street, and it's peppermint and candy canes. And this is like a pinkish red color with little Mickeys and, like, peppermints. And... <laughs> it's so strong it makes me like cough but it literally smells like a candy cane so that is that and that is this portion of the haul and so yeah stick around for part two coming right now hey guys we are here with the second clip and i think the last clip in my december haul this is some stickers mostly wax and yeah, I'll start with the stickers and then do the wax, in case you don't care about that. And then I'll with my two mystery subscriptions, in case you don't want to see that. Okay, so I did place an order with Cricut Paper Co., which I haven't ordered from her in quite a while. But her stuff is super cute. It came with this journaling card. It says it's fine, I'm fine, everything's fine. And I'll probably hang this up in my cubicle at work because I think that's funny. Um, we got this washi tape, which is pretty, but I don't use washi tape, so there's that. And then you got this little 2020 dumpster fire, um, I think this is a sticker, like a vinyl sticker. Yeah, it's a sticker. So, um, I don't really know what came with what. So, I got this little notepad, or sticky notes, which... They will be used. I got one of her doodles of uh, these little laundry ones. I don't know. I just thought they were so cute. And if you have used her stickers before, they're like really weird. They're like on a vinyl. The back of them is gray, but you have to use Sharpie on them. So I got like a little foil. This foil I think came with the kit and then this was like a foil grab bag. I may be wrong. I don't know. I'm just going to get into it because I don't know what I'm talking about. So these little vinyl stickers came with the kit. And I got this kit because I recently came out with my Area 51 Alien Underlays. And I just think it'll look stunning with this kit. So here are the full boxes. Kind of really big. Like they don't fit in my regular sticker storage, which I don't love. But do what you got to do when the kit's that cute. So this is the next page. I love the black. Checklist and like sidebar stuff. Glitter. I love this page. There's like the bottom. And then I'm obsessed with the bottom washi. So that is the full kit. And so let's get into this foil. This is hollow obviously foil washi strips date covers more date covers i suppose um date dots and labels more date dots and labels another one of these washi strips the scallops and sticky notes a second page of that um quarter boxes and half boxes or third boxes my bad third and half boxes Okay, that is, I think this is all the stuff that came with the kit. And then this is the stuff that came in the little foil bundle that I got. There's these foiled quarter boxes in hollow. Then there's these in like, a, it's like a matte rose gold. It looks very similar to the Scribble Prince Co. rose gold. Um, these are like little silver arrows, which I probably will de-stash because I don't think I will use that. There's these gold half scallops, which are super pretty. Hollow foil labels. Then we got some fun foils. This is like a uh, blue confetti headers. Can you see the blue foiling? There you go. 
This is like a pinky purpley hollow little speckled headers. Some blue foiled bows. Some like hot pink foiled icons. And then some blue little corners. So that is everything I got from Cricut Paper Co. during Black Friday. Next up, we have Scribble Prince Co. These are the freebies I got. I got this gold Happy New Year, which I'm doing two New Year spreads. One's rose gold and one's hollow, so I won't be using that. And I spent too much money, so I got this um, freebie as well. With all the scripts, which I do love. And then I got this blue holiday freebie. This journaling card, which I probably won't keep. And then my actual order. So I got, I have a problem and I love the Lavender Hollow. So I got three of the Lavender Hollow Wiggles because problems. And then I got two kits. This first one is called Fangirl. And it is this like, um, Star Wars art. So these are the add-ons. This came with the kit. It's just the um, boxes in a darker skin tone. 15 millimeter washi, the fashion girls, and the label add-on because I always get the mini kits. So these are the full boxes. I love like, little lights on the nightstands being lightsabers. So cute. Go through the kit. little things and then this bottom washi is so cute i literally can't even take it so i'm gonna be using that for sure in february for valentine's day and then the second kit that i got is called bang which is a disney kit because i need more of those like i need a hole in the head okay here are the add-ons. I got the 15 millimeter washi and the um, labels. So these are the full boxes. I just love this color scheme. Glitter, I love that the glitter headers are in the kits now too. And then love this bottom washi, but I think it'll be okay once you slice it in half. So that is what I got from SPC. So now I am going to move in to the giant box of wax that I have. Okay, so this is my first ever order from Wit and Wax. And I have to say that their toppings are the absolute cutest, but I am having kind of an issue with the lid staying on. Nonetheless, they are pretty fabulous. Start with this bundle here. This was like the Friends bundle. I believe. I think it was like the, I don't, I don't remember the title. I'm not even going to pretend. So it was these seven waxes. And there are two that I don't like and I will be passing on to a friend. This one is Rachel. It is pink lemon, strawberry, and sugar cane. And it smells really good. It's like a, I smells kind of like cotton candy to me, like a strawberry cotton candy, but it's super good. Then next up, we have Chandler, which is sweet and tangy cherry slushy drink. Beautiful toppings. And yeah, this literally, like, it's like you can smell the ice of the slushy. Super good. This is one of the ones I hate. Monica, lemon, lime, clean linen, and lavender. And upon ordering it, I obviously read the scent descriptions, and I knew I was not going to like these two, I think. Yeah, Monica and Ross ironically but it is so pretty with all of those like holographic sparkles and yeah <laughs> it's a very like clean laundry type of scent which just is not my vibe and then this one also i'm not like huge on it's ross which is orange wild ivy cucumber aloe crushed sage It's like okay it's very like clean scented also my sister will probably like them and i just got her into wax so i will probably pass this on to her so this is joey mandarin moss rosemary musk and bergamot like 
blue, got some sparkles on there. And this is just like a sexy blue somehow. Big fan, love scents like that. These two are my favorite from the collection. This one is Central Perk, which is fresh coffee, vanilla, maple, and warm pastries. And it's just a very, very nice coffee scent. And then this one is my favorite from the bundle, and it is Phoebe, which is chocolate chip cookies, maple, and caramel. Look at the little chocolate chip cookies, that's so cute. Yeah, that one's super, super good. I really should have started with the freebie, but I didn't. This is the freebie. It's called Beach Please Warm Sand Salty Sea Air Jasmine and Mandarin. I am not going to even open it because I know I don't like that scent. So this was the rest of my order. I got one of these, um, like, snap bars, I think they call them a snap bar. Pistachio Cake Pop, which is spices, coconut, pistachio, honey, and vanilla. And it's very, very heavy on the pistachio. I love it. This one kind of just drew me in by the colors and the name. It's called Minion, and it is banana, coconut, and vanilla citrus. It's just, it's just cute, okay? And it just smells like banana. It's fine. It's not like my favorite type of scent, but the cuteness, that's what got me. Sometimes it just be like that, okay? This one's called Bread Basket. Fresh baked bread, crispy golden crust, and melted butter. The little Mickey heads are so cute. And it literally smells like fresh, freshly baked bread. It literally just makes my mouth water. This one is called Shamrock Cake. Creamy butter mints filled, mixed with fluffy white cake. These like iridescent Mickey heads get me. And yeah, this one smells like a shamrock shake to me. Very yum. Got this one for Chris because he's been super into peppermint. And this one's cocoa, coffee, vanilla, sugar, and peppermint. And it smells like chocolate peppermint. So if you like that kind of thing. This one is cherry crumble, tart cherries, brown sugar, and pie crust. And this smells exactly like a cherry starburst. Then we have this one, which is mini cake, white chocolate cake, cream cheese icing, and toffee bits. Pretty. And yeah, this one is, I think, my favorite of all the ones that I ordered. And then this one, you guys. Chris typically does not give a shit about my wax stuff. But with this one, he flipped out and is obsessed with it. It's called Crunch Berry, Sweet Berries, Warm Vanilla, and Red, Juicy Red Fruit. And he flipped out over it. He wanted me to melt it immediately. And I was like, nah, nah, I gotta film this video. I just think it smells fruity. I don't think it smells like Crunch Berries. He begs to differ and thinks that it does. So I guess just depends whose nose you're using. So that was everything from my first ever order from Wit and Wax. Next, I'm going to share with you the parts of the Nerdy Wax Company advent that I kept. I already gifted away most of the ones that I don't like to friends who have a different, like, scent preference. So I'm going to just show you the ones that I kept. I'll start with the princesses that I kept and then move on to sidekicks. I think there's 13 princesses total and I kept nine of them so pretty much all of them we're gonna go start with my favorite princess it's not my favorite scent but it smells good it's frozen icicles juniper berries and peppermint sticks it's elsa and it's just a christmas scent i'm probably gonna save it and melt it next year at christmas time my second favorite princess here is ariel She's lemon, seawater, and raspberry. Cute. Oh, hold on. How cute is that with the two colors? And this is like, I'll probably melt this in the bathroom type of scent. Very fresh. Um, okay. Next we have Mulan, which is red berries, jasmine, cherry blossom, and sweet musk. And I pretty much just smell the berries. It smells very, like, nostalgic to me. We have Sleeping Beauty, which is mixed berries and vanilla ice cream. It's pretty and pink, has a little crown. This one's very light, but definitely berry scented. 
Next we have Moana Sugared Lemon Lime Candies and Ocean Breeze, and it's like the red and brown. It has like little tropical decorations. And it does, it smells very citrusy. These are my four favorite scents of the princesses. If Snow White, which is maple, cinnamon, spice, and poison apples, has the cute poison apple, has red glitter, then blue and yellow wax, and it smells like a caramel apple to me, I'm a big fan. Then we have Cinderella, which is lemon, orange blossom, and glass slippers. So cute with a little, like, glass slipper sparkles. This one smells like a creamsicle, which I don't get how that relates back to Cinderella, but it's good nonetheless. And then these two, you guys. I'm not really a fan of either of these princesses, but Tiana is fried beignets and vanilla ice cream. And it's so cute. And it literally smells so freaking good. This was like the two right before Christmas. And let me tell you, when they say they ended on a bang, they ended on a bang. And then Merida, which is chocolate, smoky marshmallows, and graham cracker. I love the teal color. It's got the little arrows on it. And it literally smells like a s'more. That one is so freaking good. So then of like the 12 sidekicks, I kept two, four, six, eight, ten of them. So I did not like super dislike too many of them. I was a big fan of most. This one I'm still kind of up in the air on. It's Hey Hey, which is honeydew, melon, and coconut. These were, yeah, like the sidekicks. Um really pretty and I like the smell but it also makes me want to gag so I'm not really sure and we have Bruni which was Elsa's sidekick a little salamander cinnamon clove and peppermint so a little snowflake and again it's very much so a Christmas scent so I'll save that for next year okay next we have the fairy godmothers mandarin and passion fruit and I'm just so impressed so little and so cute and then has all three colors and like the hollow pixie dust and this one smells very candy, like a fruity, but also candy. We have Mika, which Pocahontas was one of the ones that I booted out of my life. Was not a fan of, I wasn't a fan of Pocahontas. I hated Rapunzel and Pascal. I didn't like Belle. And that might be it. Or, and I also didn't like Jasmine. I don't know, did I have Jasmine? I don't think I liked Jasmine. Anyhow, Mika, which is fresh air, lemon, and honeysuckle. And it's very much so a cologne scent. Then we have Raja, which is bananas and caramelized sugar. The little paw prints are so cute. It is very, very, very banana. We have Mushu, which is black sugar, saffron, and bergamot. I'm undecided on this one. It's kind of like cologne, but also like old man cologne. We have flounder, guava juice, hibiscus, kiwi, and mango nectar. This one is so cute smells very tropical and my three favorites were these overall the collection like this set Tiana and Louie that one was the best but just individuals these are my favorites we have Lumiere and Cogsworth which was shredded carrots cinnamon spice and vanilla it's a little gear on there and this one smells like carrot cake which I'm a big fan of Okay, and these are my two favorites of the collection for the sidekicks. We have Gus Gus, which is brown sugar, popcorn, and sugar, and sponge sugar. And it just smells like caramel corn. And then Louie, which is hot fudge, peanut butter, and vanilla. This one's kind of light, but I think it'll melt very nicely. And it's the first time I've ever experienced something having a scent description of peanut butter which I found to be exciting. Oh, so I did get the Best Day Ever collab from American Made Wax Co., which I'm sure you guys have all heard the situation with it. And like, I get this shit happens. So I'm not even like that mad. What made me really mad though is the freaking post office. And I'm trying to be nice to them. But this shit did not move for about a million and a half years. But okay, so already not a fan of the fact that there are not set descriptions on the bags but is what it is and we will move forward i have the center descriptions up so that i can read them to you so this was the freebie which is just called trader tabs there is no center description even on the listing for this 
and I don't like it. So this will be moving on to a friend who has a different palette. I'm just gonna get out of the way the two that I literally hate. This one is called Pirates, and they are so cute. There's so many pieces in here. And this one is Salty Sea Air, Pink Sugar, and Fresh Rose. I am not even gonna open it. That's the level of dislike I have for this scent. And in Chris's words, yeah, that's how I picture a pirate's chest smelling. So we're moving on from that. And then this one, I also don't like. It's called Purple Wall. Meet me at the Purple Wall. My bad. Grape Candy and Pop Rocks, and I'm also not opening this. I was traumatized as a child by having to take allergy medicine that was like a liquid grape medicine. That's exactly what it smells like, so I hate all things grape. But I did enjoy every other one in the bundle, so I would count that as a success. This one is called Fantasyland. These are all like the little bits and bobs that came in here. This one is Fresh Pretzels, Kettle Corn, Cinnamon Chips, Snickerdoodles, and Vanilla Bean. And it's a very, very, very nice bakery scent. Next, we have this one, which is The Hour Guest, which is Cookies and Cream Mousse, which <laughs> I love a nice cookies and cream scent. And it literally, you can smell the cookies and cream. It's so good. This next one is 999 Happy Haunts. And we have a pistachio pudding cake and birthday cake and vanilla scent. It's very heavy on this pistachio, which I love pistachio scents, so I am not mad about that. We have this one. So cute which is pineapple looking churros, pineapple slices, vanilla ice cream, and churros. I really like this one, but I might give it to my sister because her girlfriend who lives with her loves pineapple. And I have too much wax. This one is called Mad Tea Party, which is funnel cake, fruit loops, and strawberry crunch berries. Mm, oh my god, this one is so good. This one I think is my favorite. Potentially, yeah. This one is 100% my favorite. So good. And then we have Main Street Confectionery, which is cotton candy, saltwater taffy, vanilla sugar, waffle cone, and sugary candy. And yeah, it smells like taffy to me. I really get the taffy scent. So overall, I liked all of them besides those two, and that's all I really gotta say about that. So last but not least, I have the Glam Planner Mystery Kit and the Scribble Prints Mystery Kit for the month of December for Glam Planner in January for SPC, but she's just had the same. I will start with the SPC one because I'm literally in love with it. First, before we even get into the kit, let's just sit here in awe over this new wiggle format that she's coming out with because I die. So these are the, this is like a little foil freebie. This is the um, wiggle that came in the kit. I think it is gold and silver hollow mixed metal. Yes. So we have little deco bits. The food doodles, which I am sad to see not be included any longer, but you know. So, I don't know, can you see that it's like gold and silver hollow with the icons? You get these sheets, which there's three of them. Super pretty. The icons, the scripts, bottom washi, and then the bougie underlays like oh my god one of them is the gold hollow one of them is silver hollow so you can do them like every other so that is the wiggle that came with the kit i'm in love and then the kit itself is fantastic here are the full boxes this girl so cute probably won't use this tall girl i don't love tall boxes don't usually grab them if they're an add-on. I love this color scheme with like the purples and the blues. 
love this sheet along with the pattern one. Big fan of those. The bottom washi. And then I love this like gray hair right there. And then we have more boxes here, 15 millimeter washi, labels, and so on. So that is the SPC mystery for January 2021 and I am in love with her. And then last but not least, this is the Glam Planner December Sub 2020. And I'm going to be real with you, I am not a fan. I'm disappointed in it. If you are interested in it, DM me on Instagram at Planahanna and you can buy it from me because I will not be using it. So this is the foil. Um, it's silver snowflakes, 15 millimeter washi. This is for some of the full boxes. And so my problem with this kit is not that it's ugly. It's not, it's pretty. But she's pretty much done this exact same kit as a mystery kit before, and I think that's bullshit. So these are the labels. Glitter headers. Swear to God, it was this artwork. Like, now I gotta go see if I ever posted a picture of that kit. Right here. Here is the kit, the old version of it. Like, can you see that? Like this double box right here? This is my old style of planning, so you can't tell. It literally looks exactly like this. Like I swear it's pretty much the same kit. So I am just not living for this situation. So like I said, shoot me a message if you want this kit. So there's this, which is the giant box, which I believe this goes over, which would be really pretty. The Fashion Girls, I don't really like them. Um, and yeah, these are the full boxes. I'm like, this just is not my vibe. The um, checklists, whatever page that is, I don't even know. And like I said, you're not always going to like a mystery, so it's kind of the gamble you put, but like, uh, we've had this mystery before. So, that's just a little bit problematic to me. So that is everything for this part of the video and the end of this haul for the month of December 2020. Hope you guys enjoyed, like, subscribe, comment, share all the things have a great day